What is going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Camp Fish today. We are out at a beautiful little pond, brought the kayak out and a whole bunch of rods, and we're gonna see if we can get on a few fish. So it's usually pretty busy out here right now. I think there might only be like one or two other people fishing. So we got the place pretty much all to ourselves and I'm really looking forward to get out here, trying to throw around a few new baits. So you guys can probably tell, we got a whole bunch of stuff tied up back here. We got a lipless crankbait. We got a little fluke, a little swim jig, a little micro swim bait. And then we also have the big old depths bull shooter. If you guys saw my last recent and swim bait unboxing. I recently picked this bull shooter up off of swim bait underground from some guy. It's a like used bait, so it's caught a few fish. I personally have not caught a fish on it though, so my goal and plan for today is to get out here on this pond and see if I can get my first fish on the bull shooter. Now, I've actually been having some pretty solid luck recently with the big baits, not really anything huge. Caught that three pounder, which you guys saw a few videos ago, and then I also caught one yesterday, which I'll play for you right now. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my God, I actually have one. I was like trying to pop it out of this thing and it's a freaking fish. Okay, not a bad guy. Got a little two pounder, but on the beams, I'll take that. Hells yeah, all right, buddy. Calm yourself. There we go. All right. <laughs> not as big of a fish as I thought that I was gonna catch on this thing, but I'll take it for sure. All right, you're gonna need to calm down, buddy. I can tell you're about to shake and put this treble hook right in my hand. I don't really want that, to be honest with you. All right. The fish ended up getting away before I ended up taking a picture of it, unfortunately. I uh, just had it in the net and it decided to unhook itself and swim out, but that's just the way it goes. But I've been really concentrating on that wake bait that I've had, that Beebs Blaster. I really like that thing, but I wanted to try and change it up a little bit, switch it up, try something a little bit different. So I tied up the bull shooter and uh, I'm gonna see if we can get on a few fish today. You guys can see the water is super, super clear. We got a little bit of chop on the water as well. Uh, not too bad, shouldn't be too bad to be on the kayak today, hopefully. But yeah, I'm gonna get the kayak launch. We're gonna see if we can get after a few fish. Hopefully we can link up with one on the bull shooter. If not, like I said, I've got a few other things to throw around at them, but hopefully we'll be able to find something that they wanna bite on today. But yeah, I'm gonna get launched and uh, I'll see you guys down in the water. So the wind's kind of just a hair annoying. Probably helps our bite a little bit, even though I haven't been bit yet, but it is just a hair annoying to deal with the kayak. So I think I'm gonna kind of try and use it to my advantage as much as possible. We're gonna do some drifts across the pond and uh, kind of alternate between that little fluke and then probably that big swim bait. Cause I would really like to catch another fish on that or a fish on that, another big swim bait fish, I should say. It's a fish. I've got a fish on. Little dude. Freaking little guy on the bull shooter. I was like, it feels so weird. <laughs> oh my God, dude. What the hell? Well, I did say I wanted to catch a fish on the bull shooter. So 
that's been accomplished but not really the size i was looking for calm down buddy jesus well he's got the right attitude at least little dude freaking cracked it. i thought i was stuck in some weeds and then it just it just started feeling really weird it felt like there was something pulling back so set the hook into it and little fish on the bull shooter there we go all right so i do want to try and uh get the weight and length of just about every swim bait fish that i catch this year unfortunately the one from yesterday the one you guys saw at the beginning of this video um <laughs> I did not get a weight or a length on, but I'm gonna take a guess and say it was probably about a pound and a half. This guy is probably smaller than that. I'd be surprised if he goes over a pound and a quarter. But yeah, I'm just interested in like the size caliber fish that I generally tend to catch on swim baits. So that's why I'm doing this. I don't really wanna weigh a little one pound fish. By the way, fish locked in 119, 1.19 pounds. So little bitty dude, like I said, not even a pound and a quarter. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm sure, this is going to be an absolute giant, but <laughs> close your mouth there, buddy. Come on. Mouth closed, tail pinched, looking like, what is that, 13 and a half? 13 and a half inch fish. There we go. All right, get buddy out of the net, put him back. Appreciate you, fella. Have a good spring. Later. All right, there we go. Swim bait fish number three for me. Bull shooter fish number one. Take that for sure, for sure. Let's get out of here. Try not to break any rods on this tree that I am now 100% stuck in. I guess I'll anchor up over here somewhere and keep throwing around this area. There's one fish over here that's dumb enough to eat that thing then maybe this is going to be a few more Oh, there's a fish. There we go. <laughs> oh, you just threw it. God dang it. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Hook wasn't even exposed. That's annoying. Okay. That's another fish up shallow, though. Just trying to alternate in between the big swim bait and the fluke. See if we can't pick up another couple of fish before I gotta head out of here. I don't know how much time I have left. I think I still have like at least another hour or so, but I mean, I haven't been getting the most fun footage for you guys, and I apologize about that. Oh, is that a fish? That is a fish. I got one. A little dude on the lipless. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude. What is going on today? Oh man. Well, it's, it's a fish. It is the wrong size. I think he might've just been born yesterday, but yeah, there's a fish. Hell yeah. I'm a little lipless. There we go. Little tiny dude. Appreciate you, bud. Whoa, a little psychopath. All right. Two fish on the day, I'll take that for sure. Not really the size we're looking for, but fish is a fish today, honestly. It's been so slow, I'll take anything. Make that same cast out there, see if there's another one maybe a little bigger.
There's another fish. Here we go. That one feels a little better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's not too bad. Not terrible compared to the rest of the fish we've caught today. Just another little dude though. Oh well. Got both trebles though. But he was all about this little lip and list. Alright. Here we go. Maybe we're starting to put something together here. See you, bud. There's a fish. I think. Maybe. I can't tell. <laughs> If it is, he's really small. Oh yeah, no, there's a fish on there. I think. <laughs> oh my god. No shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, calm down. <laughs> what is this? No way, dude. That is a newborn freaking largemouth. Look at the size of this little guy. Oh man. My God, dude. We just keep getting smaller. I was like, that that little swim bait fish is gonna be the smallest one of the day. And uh, I think he's one of the better ones. <laughs> so, great, awesome. Man, I thought the other fish that we were catching were small. This guy takes the cake. All right, buddy, calm down. See ya. <laughs> I'm sure you guys didn't even see that freaking release. Fish was so damn small. Hilarious. I'm fairly certain that was the smallest fish I've ever caught on a lipless crankbait. Probably one of the smallest bass I've ever caught, period. But wow, I'm I'm impressed, if nothing else. I'm I'm just impressed. I don't know how Buddy managed to get that in his freaking mouth, but Oh God, is that a fish? I think that's a fish. Oh yeah. Well, he knocked the fire out of it. Not a giant guy, but fighting hard. Holy cow. Calm yourself, buddy. All right. Another dude on a lipless. Nice little guy, see ya. find a way through here. I think theoretically I could probably speed up real quick and try and make it over this piece right here. Come on. Yes. Oh, money. That was much easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> All right. Let's fish. folks that is gonna do it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed we did end up catching a fish on the bull shooter it wasn't really the size i was looking for but we did end up catching a fish officially breaking it in for me so super stoked about that we did also catch a bunch of fish on the lipless missed a couple on the fluke as well but seemed like they were just kind of really on that moving bait pattern today Unfortunately, it was all small fish today. I don't know why that was. I don't know what the deal was today, but seemed like all the little tiny ones wanted to eat, but I'm cool with it regardless. Uh, it was a pretty tough day out here until I figured out that lipless bite. So I'll just take what I can get at this point. But I think that's gonna do it for me. It seemed like the fishing kind of turned off after that last bite and uh, we didn't really get another bite for the last 45 minutes or so. But I think that's gonna do it for me. Uh, I gotta go run home and get some homework and stuff done. And it seemed like the bite kind of died anyway. Plus there were a bunch of people showing up getting ready to fish and I just really didn't want to have to deal with all that so i figured i'd piece on out of here and just call it right now but yeah i think that's gonna do it for me i'll check and wreck them and i'll catch you on the next one i'm out peace